Hi everybody, I'm Jennifer Tyler Lee, author of Half the Sugar, All the Love. This book is all about enjoying your favorite comfort foods in a healthier way. And I wrote it because right now our added sugar consumption is about three times the daily recommended limit according to the American Heart Association. But we still wanna enjoy all of our favorite treats. So that's what this book does. It allows you to enjoy all the foods you love just in a healthier way. So today I'm gonna to share with you one of my most favorite recipes from the book, the double chocolate brownies. I love them because they are delicious. They're fudgy and chocolatey and so scrumptious. They're also gluten-free. I'm gonna make them dairy-free today too. And they're super easy to make. They come together in the food processor. So quick, easy, delicious, definitely a recipe you should add to your repertoire. Okay, so let's get started today. Super easy ingredients, all pantry staples. The base of this recipe is sweet potato. And the reason why that sweet potato is so important, it adds fiber. And fiber is the key. It's the difference between sweetening with sugar and sweetening with fruits and vegetables. That fiber helps slow absorption of the sugar in your body, making it easier to process. So that's why these sweet potatoes are key. And you can use canned sweet potato here if you choose. So this is half of a pound of fresh sweet potato that's been cooked. If you want to use sweet potato from the can, just use one cup pureed sweet potato. So that's an easy swap there. Almond butter, half of a cup of almond butter. Now, if you'd like to make this nut free, you can use tahini here. You could also use sunflower seed butter. And if you don't have almond butter on hand, and you don't have a nut allergy, you can also use peanut butter or you can use walnut butter. It's super flexible. So I'm using almond butter today because I really love the creamy sweet flavor that it provides. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna add an egg and an egg yolk. The egg yolks here, you'll notice with the recipes in my book, I'll add an egg yolk to help bind the recipe. So when you take sugar out, uh, sometimes, especially baked goods, can become dry and crumbly. So you need to add a little bit of fat back. That's what that egg yolk does here. Sometimes I'll use Greek yogurt. So one of the other tricks in the book is to blend Greek yogurt and dates together to make no added sugar treats like my banana bread, which you must try. It's so delicious, sweetened entirely with bananas and dates. Okay, so there goes the egg and the egg yolk. And then half of a cup of, you can use melted butter, you can use coconut oil. This is a dairy-free butter that's a combination, combination of coconut and cashew that I'm putting in there. Okay, so that's melted. What we're gonna do is give this a quick blend just to bring it together and make sure we have no chunks of sweet potato. Okay, pause the machine and just scrape down the sides of the bowl. You wanna make sure all those chunks of sweet potato get pureed and they're nice, you've got a nice even texture. And you should have a mixture that looks a little bit like this, a little bit like peanut butter, okay? Now, what's going in next is a quarter cup of maple syrup. Now, it's important to remember here, I'm using the maple syrup because I want that maple flavor, but maple syrup counts as added sugar, just like granulated sugar, just like honey, molasses, agave, there are actually over 60 names for added sugar and they all count towards your daily limit. So swapping one sugar for another is not what we're trying to do. What we're trying to do is reduce the total amount. So using those fruits and vegetables instead, in this case, the sweet potato, um, and then less of the sugar, in this case, maple syrup, uh, helps you get there to two thirds less sugar than a box brownie mix, but just as delicious. Uh, okay, so the maple syrup is in there. We're gonna give that a quick blend just to bring it together. Then add your vanilla, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. 
You'll also notice with the recipes in my book, I use more spices than you'd typically find. And that's, again, to build up flavor without added sugar. Okay, scrape down the sides of the bowl one more time. Now you're really starting to get this smooth, creamy batter. It looks a little bit like that. Okay, awesome. Now it's gonna go in three quarters of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. This is when you start to get that yummy, delicious, chocolatey batter going. Okay, so three quarters of a cup unsweetened cocoa powder and a half teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of baking soda. So you can see no flour in this recipe which makes it gluten free. The sweet potato forms the base and Okay, I'm gonna give that a little stir just to make sure that all of that cocoa powder is fully incorporated. It smells delicious. And you can really see that it's starting to come together and look like a typical brownie batter at this point. Okay, I also love this recipe because it's all in the food processor, which is just so much fun. And if you don't have a food processor, you can use a blender or a hand mixer. You could even do this in a bowl if you wanted to use the pureed sweet potato from the can, you could just mix it all together in the bowl. But I love the food processor because it's quick and easy and you get that really nice smooth texture. Okay, so we're all mixed up there. You've got a nice deep chocolatey batter and now you're just gonna stir in your chocolate chips. Use six and three quarters ounces of chocolate chips here and reserve two tablespoons for the top of your brownies. What's really important to remember here, you want to use high quality dark chocolate. When you reduce added sugar, you're relying on the quality of the ingredients that go into the recipe to build up that flavor. So that delicious sweet potato, the creamy almond butter, and the high quality dark chocolate. So this is really important. Invest in a really great hot, um, dark chocolate and it's worth it. So we're just gonna stir them right in here, reserving two tablespoons for the top of your brownies. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move this out of the way so that we can get this into the baking dish. So I've got a nine by 13 parchment lined baking dish. And what I'm gonna do, you can also use cooking spray here if you don't have parchment on hand. What I'm gonna do is start by putting the batter into the four corners of the baking dish and then spreading it into the middle. That way, everything stays in place, the parchment paper stays in place, and it makes it easier to get a nice even layer. Okay, so I'm gonna put the batter into four corners here. And your oven, if it isn't already, it should be preheated to 350. I set mine before I start recording, so it's all ready to go. We're going at 350. Pop this in just a couple of minutes. And we'll have these delicious brownies. Put this off in the cabinet. Okay. They're so fudgy and delicious. The batter is just decadent. Okay, so yummy. All right, so I've got my batter in the pan in the four corners of the baking dish in the four corners, and I'm gonna spread it now just into the middle. This allows me to more quickly get that even layer. And you can put a nice swirl pattern on the top to get those beautiful little waves. also a fun job for 
for your kids to do. They can have so much fun with the waves. Okay, so there's your batter, and we're gonna put two teaspoons of the, or rather two tablespoons of the remaining chocolate chips and just sprinkle them on top. And you are done. This is going into the oven. We're gonna put it in 350 for 27 minutes and then there are gonna be delicious fudgy brownies. I can't wait for these to come out of the oven. Here you go, fresh baked brownies right out of the oven. They smell so delicious, they're rich and fudgy and I just can't wait to take a bite. So I hope you make a batch too. Check me out on Instagram. I'm at Jennifer Tyler Lee. Take a picture, I can't wait to see what is cooking in your kitchen. Be well and bake brownies.